sugar is that it acts as a main source of energy for the body. Alzheimer is what happened in the brain is similar to what happened as in type 2 diabetes mellitus. Hi Joanne, sugar is something that everyone likes. From your opinion, actually what is sugar? I think when we think of sugar, we immediately think of something sweet, something like cake and dessert. Did you know that sugars can found in food naturally? Yes, from what I know, other than the added sugar, actually in all types of food, beverages, fruits, actually contain sugar as well. That's right. Even deeper, sugar is actually a type of carbohydrate found in many types of food and beverages. When we talk about sugars, there are actually a few types. The most common one that we see in white sugar is the sucrose that's made from the sugar cane and the beet. But there are also other forms of sugars. When we are talking about the natural sugars, it would be things like lactose, glucose, as well as maltose. What are the main function and benefits of sugar? One of it is that it acts as a main source of energy for the body, where it is processed very quickly and it's able to be sustained for a stable amount of time. Yes, other than what Joanne say, it's very important for body. It's also very important for our brain to function normally. So sugar also provides very essential fuel to help our brain to function in a cognitive and also to provide good memory. Actually, the commonest disadvantages of consuming excess amount of sugar will be the type 2 diabetes mellitus. When we consume food, actually the sugar is released into the bloodstream. It will stimulate the production of insulin. When there is excess amount of sugar released into our bloodstream, the pancreas it will need to stimulate more insulin in order to keep up with the speed of how the cell can absorb the glucose. So over the time, the cell will be less sensitive to all these high level of insulin. So this is when insulin resistance happens. So when there is insulin resistance and the pancreas will keep producing large amount of insulin, it will lead to this uncontrolled sugar level and insulin level in our bloodstream and it will lead to type 2 diabetes. And the most worrying thing about type 2 diabetes, it can lead to other health problems as well. For example, get having insulin resistance can lead into accumulation of body fat, especially around the midsection of your body. So that's the reason why certain patients, most of the time, when they have insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, they tend to be on the obese side and they may have other complications as well, such as high blood pressure, heart disease and also high cholesterol. And how exactly sugar leads to leaky gut syndrome is that excessive sugar intake encourages the growth of the bad bacteria like candida in the gut system. And our gut acts in a way where we have the good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria. And the bad bacteria overgrows and overcomes the good bacteria. That's when gut dysbiosis occurs and the gut starts being irritated so other than that, Joanne, do you also know that there is newer term we call type 3 diabetes mellitus? Yes, I've read on quite a few research papers recently. They have found a link between type 2 diabetes and also their risk of getting Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, Alzheimer's is what the latest they call it as type 3 diabetes because the mechanism what happened in the brain is similar to what happened as in type 2 diabetes mellitus. So high sugar level will actually affect the cognitive functions and reduce the memory levels, especially leading to higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. From here, we can understand that the impact of sugar is not just short-term such as gaining weight but also in the long-term effect that we will see in 20-30 years from now. How much exactly do you need? So based on the recommendations by the WHO, the recommended daily sugar intake is 10% of your total calorie intake for a day. And if you want to work on added health benefits and prevention, you would aim for 5%. So for a typical adult, your sugar intake in a day should be around 25 grams to 50 grams daily. 